Hello everyone, Nas Nogami here. Welcome to a special just for fun let's play. We are doing To the Moon. Now this game got a whole lot of praise. And one of the topics that was actually talked about was uh, that one of the main characters is um, autistic. And I decided to play this game for Autism Awareness Month. That is uh, April. Even though Autism Acceptance Day was on uh, April 2nd, it's still April. It may be late in the game, but I'm still going to play this game uh, for the month. So let's start a new game. Game is very story driven. From what I read. But I love games with good stories. And I'm already loving the music. We start with a car crash. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Uh, makes me think of that Geico commercial. Where it's like, squirrel on the road, car swerves and crashes to avoid hitting it. Squirrel goes to squirrel and they high five each other. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us! So, driver over on the, the right side. British car going on. Hmm, well, just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write down your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Click an object and interact with it. Receive the equipment. I uh, got the sucker, let's roll. Tendon online, patient online. So we got our characters, Dr. Neil Watt, Watt, Technician Specialist of Sigmund Corps, Dr. Eva Eva Rosaline, Senior Memory Traversal Agent, Sigmund Corp. Okay, so it's arrow keys and mouse, or I can just click. Oh, come on, I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it. That's asking too much. I love the chemistry between these two already. Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign where they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you remember. How thoughtful of you. So we get two doctors in the middle of nowhere. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we can find a tree branch to jack it off with. Wait. Oh, 
or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Oh, let's just push it by hand. Ah, oh, the lag. Alright, on three. One, two, three! It bounced! I... I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. Well, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. Oh, we get more squirrels. Pretty big house in the middle of nowhere. Here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they have any coffee. Well, go all the way back to the nearest gas station. Buy a pack of Red Bull. Shut up. They probably do have coffee. Maybe. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron! I don't get paid enough for this. Oh boy. So already they don't quite get along that well. Or maybe they do get along and they always tease each other like this. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Got acts going on. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume. <laughs> Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I didn't be bad predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. If my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Alright, let's head upstairs where I drop this. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair! You pushed me! Did not! Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. So, two doctors, two scientists, come to a remote house to see someone. kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who was carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on.
Ready to set up? Yeah. Yeah, this will be just a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? Where is all this equipment anyways? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. Oh, that is so high tech. Whatever it is. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's just got a day or two left. Oh, visiting the house of a dying man. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. These are just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he's rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Oh, what? I love your sense of humor. Shush! Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? I want to play as Dr. Watts. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in High School Musical. I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. No, it's not. Just configure this. I got started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Well, let's take a look around the room. Medical journals. Can we get around? I guess it's the bathroom down here. And nothing of note here. Oh, grant any wish. With machines. Is this like an Inception thing? Going on? Drawings. Painting of an animal of sort. Huh. Did kids paint those? They're not bad. Wait. Come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Here. Take this. A remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Ah, right here. This is what it is. Well, that looks like a steady pulse. From what little I know. I have to right click twice to exit for some reason. We are moving very slowly. Huh. It only has one hand. Well, it's supposed to be two overlapping hands. Like, uh, like 11.55, for example. And if so, where are the kids doing up this late? Uh, 
Eh, nothing to interact with once again. What you want? Uh, you help show me around the house. Hey, your ma told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. Oh, you brats! What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Alright. Let's talk. What do you punks want? We want... One trillion dollars! Or the candy cane from Mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Or what? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us. We'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Oh. Uh, sure. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. It is a terrible quest to get your night started. Didn't mean to go up. There's that candy cane. I don't think it was there before. Jump for it! We can just push this. All the way over there. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. I like Dr. Watts already. Alright, kiddos, I was against the law of Oz back there, but I got the icon candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. Oh yeah, and covered in dust. Alright, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Or what kind of funny room? Is that a place where funny games happen? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hit inside a book in the study. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Can't even read the other things. Let's see, what do we have here? Emperor's New Clothes, Hans Christian Andersen. And the colors, the colors of that beautiful fabric. I had never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed owed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which has been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like adults are like trying to be nice. And he's like, oh, uh, yes, you do have clothes on, but it just takes someone honest to say, uh, no, wait. Uh, the tale of a girl who f fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sun, like, <laughs> Oh, take that, Twilight. And you know what the funny thing is? Warm bodies. It was a book, then a movie. But it was... But it's about a romance between a human girl and a zombie boy. It's like... It's like, girl falls in love with vampire. Girl falls in love with werewolf. Girl falls in love with zombie. Girl falls in love with ghost. Girl falls in love with fallen angel. This game ridiculous. Uh, maybe next time. Aha! The man sure knows where to hide things. Yeah, who would ever look in a crappy book? That's actually a good hiding place. You can open the funny room in the basement now. No, wait, hang on. What's over here? Eh. Uh, nothing to really report on. 
I got to turn on store tap wire. This is the basement. They play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over some. Chest is locked. Oh, I see the, the two lamps connect. Colored papers. Locked. Dusty pile of Animorphs! I used to read Animorphs as a kid. Though I've only read like the first ten books before I stopped. Moved on to something else. Okay, let's see what's in the funny room. It's like a cave in here. Uh, there better not be any dead bodies. No bodies, just bunnies. And this thing. Stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. You can blame Mother Nature for that. Let's take it. And this thing? Broken music box. Rabbit fold out of paper. Origami rabbits. They're everywhere. And I think they might be watching me, so let's go. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath the cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there either. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any black cabinets around you, too. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Yeah, let's go. Oh, the heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Not unless it's a tornado. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Shouldn't keep lock cabinets around you too, but... You open these locked chests. With your magic skeleton keys. To everything. Okay, this is appropriate. So we walk fast when we're outside, slow when we're inside. That is actually a nice touch. There it is! You head south to the street and take the other path to get down it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute! It is a good view of the lighthouse, though. So, concerning our old man, uh... Johnny. So, we have a platypus. Okay, these are funny descriptions, too. So, kind of a slow start so far, but... It's definitely setting up for something. It's here! Uh, my novelty beach ball! I thought I lost it. That's a beach ball. And you painted it like a rock. No. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Uh, we don't have time for this. Okay, done. Right. Now let's just head to the lighthouse. Magic power of cutaways. It's smoking! Who is the dummy that crashed the car? That was, uh, Dr. Rosaline, yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline. Hmm? Ooh, a squirrel! Oh, it's... I'm sorry I ran over your buddy. Eh. 
Don't worry, kids. I got this. <laughs> What's going on? Attack tsunami. What the heck is this? Uh, quick, throw your other shoe at it. Yell louder. This ends here. Hey, uh, stop it. I'm gonna tell Ma you animal abuse. Yeah, she called the cops on you. Oh, come on. I wasn't actually gonna. Don't you like role-playing? You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck was going on, but I guess it was just another joke. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. Don't you play? Don't you kids play any video games? Guess not. Well, here we are. Lighthouse doesn't even function anymore. Windows are boarded. And of course it's off. Just an old relic at this point. In the memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Is she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, Lighthouse is right there. Oh, and you... They're going up the stairs automatically. That's nice. This is it! More bunnies. Seems like this thing hasn't been functioning for quite a while now. Multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? I'm the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though. Yeah, you are. Yep. What the? Someone's calling me. Heck, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this... Paper rabbits. Platypus stall. Well, looks like the machine's all ready to go and... Did you just put a helmet on the old man? What the cactus were you doing? What the cactus? Uh, Dr. Rosaline's a little bit odd herself. Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight? Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. <laughs> oh boy. Smartass is in my genetics. I inherited it from my mom and her mom. You're pretty good at being half of it. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on. We're going in. Let's see, I guess we are doing this uh, Inception style. Couch. Oh, right here. Well, let's initiate. But you're not. Here it goes. So we're doing virtual reality. Mind dive. Should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Okay, so we are mind diving. a 
his memories to help him grant his wish to go to the moon. For River, Johnny H. Wiles. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Oh, well, hey, there's chopsticks. I guess we should explore the house more. He could be in here. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to go back up. Dang it. Huh. Wasn't giving me the... Oh, the room's gone! And I can't go down the basement. The bathroom's gone, too. Well, if this is virtual space... Try over here. Johnny? We have a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. So we're delving into his memories. And it, the memories are interacting back. My name is Dr. Eva Rosling, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn, Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn, Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigma Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil, show some respect! Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You. You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't. But you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. Huh. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry. Well, I really don't know. Oh. There better not be any twist like, uh... Like, there are, like, aliens on the moon, and, uh, they're telepathically calling to certain humans to come to them, because they have, uh, the right compatible genes to make, uh, the, like, the best man, or something. I don't know. I hope it's not a big twist like that. Because, I just... do. There's always a reason for something. I can already tell this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get you to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we'll need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps, which you've given us permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories with direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more than just say, I don't know. As long as you take me to the I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started?
That'll do. Oh, it's the rabbit. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Huh. So... It is kind of like... Inception. Except... Except we have to travel backwards, but... So... You have to implant something in his earlier memories. So that he himself can... Come up with memories to achieve his wish. We need to prepare this memento first. Okay. Complete memento. Clip the orbs of flip pieces. Uh, it's a flip tile puzzle. Mendo can now be activated for traversal. Nice. Let's check our note. The moon. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Visibility and interactivity. Be messy, be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy. Jeez, I forgot to ask him all about these rabbits. They're all over the place. This is creeping me out. Probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of his memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quick blabbering to find a memento here to hop from. Interact with objects to establish five memory links. Aren't you special, having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach? What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why yes, I agree. Okay, I see how this works. So, I have a feeling we're going to be in for a real story here, which we will do next time. Until then, this is Nazo, signing off.